Relax, lean to the right, push your hips back, sit through the hill, chest up. Lower to the balance, left hand up by the face. Drive out, hold your speed, 20. The summer is about uh, an eight week deal in total uh, in terms of just actual training time. And then we have the weight room open nine to 11. Once again, as a voluntary thing, if you wanna come in and get some extra work, but what's great about that, we'll have upwards of 70 to 80 guys come in on a Saturday, which is crazy to think of, you know what I mean? They don't, they don't get a lot of time off, but they understand the importance of taking care of their body and getting their bodies back. And I think just being around each other, I think that really speaks volumes to our team in, you know, the connectivity of our team because they like being around each other. They like being in the building. They they want to be around the coaches. So once again, if you have a lot of like-minded people that are committed to doing it for the next person, you're probably going to have a lot of success. Yeah, you know, summer workouts, it's, you know, we start working out at 6 a.m. And then, uh, you know, you go start out on the field, do some running, conditioning, uh, position work stuff, and then, uh, come inside, uh, upper or lower body lifts. That'll take about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, and then get out, go to treatment, uh, grab breakfast, um, you know, come back and take care of your body and then uh, do it again tomorrow. Sometimes you just gotta go into a little bit of adversity there. See what you're made of here. Good job. It's much better, it's a better look than this. Control it now. Rip it, stick, ease out. You lower the weight. Come on. Um, how I prepare for summer workouts is I like to take it day by day. I think if you look at it as one big picture, it can get a little overwhelming, just like leading into camp and stuff. So I think it's important, especially we like to break it down day to day, week to week, and just going in and attacking each day. What, I got to come over here? Is that what it is? You see that? Yeah, yeah. A little bit of juice there for you. Good job. Way better. Oh, I thought it was slower than that. You got lucky, I think. The machine likes you. The machine. <laughs> Highly favored right there. Let's go. Two. That's got to be like a PR. Huh? Three. I don't count that last one. Coach B, he's the best, like. Um, out of all the coaches, we rate him the most. Um, to me, he the realest. He never sugarcoat. He never going to stir you into the wrong direction. And he always gonna make sure that you getting better no matter what, no matter who you are, whether you're a starter or whether you just got there or it doesn't matter. Cause B, he wants the best, what's the best for everybody. Get your hair. Drive your heels, squeeze your hands. Good, come on, come on. Squeeze that. Ah, you guys got the brother-in-law agreement going on? Good job. Great job, Maxim. Not bad. Eight pounds, a few weeks. Yeah, I've been stuck here for a minute though. Yeah. More calories. I'm getting there, day by day, huh? Hey, hey, man. 207. I mean. Okay. Hey, that didn't go down. Exactly. Got to be consistent. Dre's still. He's still waking up too. Let's go. From my standpoint, it all starts with relationships. Um, you know, I have, I'm fortunate enough to be around these guys a lot, more so than the coaches at times, just because of their schedule and recruiting and camps. And, um, you know, I'm basically with them year round. So for me, with the, from the moment they get here, it actually starts in recruiting is developing those relationships. And that's something that we as a program are really big on. I think it starts there because you're going to ask these guys to do things that they don't necessarily love to do. Some guys love to train, other guys love football. Um, and it's our job to help them understand the importance of how we do things and why we train. And I want them to know the why. I think it's important for them to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it because then they're more inclined to give it everything they got because they can start to see the bigger picture. At the end of the day, it all goes back to the strong relationships and strong, meaningful relationships. And you hear it all the time, they don't, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that's, that stands true. Uh, I firmly believe that. So that's really my style. Love them up, but be really hard on them and hold them accountable. But at the end of the day, love them. You know what I mean? And be there for them. So.